The night sky over California was silent, too silent for history in the making. On September 11, 2025, a smooth gray silhouette rose into the air, cutting through dawn's haze with no sound, no fanfare, just purpose. Those who witnessed it felt the same chill that once ran through engineers in the 1980s when another ghost first took flight. This was not merely another aircraft. This was America's new shadow in the sky, the B-21 Raider. And to understand why this moment mattered, we have to go back to the machine that defined an era, the B-2 Spirit, the aircraft that made invisibility real. The Spirit That Changed Warfare When the B-2 Spirit first emerged from secrecy, it didn't just represent a bomber. It symbolized an idea that America could reach anywhere, anytime, and never be seen coming. Designed during the height of the Cold War, the B-2 was the embodiment of innovation and fearlessness. Its flying wing design seemed alien. Its black diamond silhouette glided across the sky like a specter. In those early years, it gave the world a glimpse of what stealth truly meant. But the spirit was more than a machine. It was deterrence made tangible, a message carved in carbon fiber and titanium. Adversaries knew that if the United States decided to act, there was no wall of radar or ring of missiles that could stop it. From Operation Allied Force to later precision strikes in the Middle East, the B-2 became a legend whispered in command centers across the globe. Still, even legends age. Each B-2 cost over $2.25 billion, adjusted for inflation, making it one of the most expensive aircraft ever built. Maintenance required near-surgical precision. Every inch of its stealth skin demanded constant care, and every mission was an orchestration of logistics. The spirit was brilliant, but fragile. For America to sustain its global dominance, something new had to emerge. Something built not just to be invisible, but adaptable, affordable, and alive in the digital age. The birth of a new shadow. Fast forward three decades. While rivals poured billions into radar networks and missile systems, the United States quietly prepared its answer. Deep within Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, engineers and pilots began shaping a successor, one that wouldn't just hide from radar, but outthink it. In 2023, the first B-21 Raider took to the skies. Two years later, on September 11, 2025, its second flight marked the beginning of a new era. What rose that morning wasn't just a bomber. It was the world's first sixth-generation stealth aircraft. Built from the ground up by Northrop Grumman, it wasn't an upgrade to the B-2. It was an evolution, a flying algorithm as much as a machine. The Raider represents a philosophy shift. Modern warfare isn't just about power. It's about perception information, and control. Where the B-2 relied on silence, the B-21 relies on intelligence. It doesn't merely evade, it predicts, adapts, and communicates across entire battle networks. The Mind of a Machine The B-21 is often called a flying computer, and that description isn't an exaggeration. Every system, from navigation to targeting, is powered by artificial intelligence and sensor fusion. Its brain processes battlefield data faster than any human crew could. It can coordinate drones, manage electronic warfare, and even fly itself if ordered to. Officially, it's optionally manned, meaning it can operate with a crew of two or with none at all. This level of autonomy isn't science fiction anymore. The B-21 can act as the command node in a swarm of collaborative combat aircraft known as Loyal Wingmen. 
These drones can scout, jam, or strike, all guided by the raider's central intelligence. Imagine a stealth bomber not only delivering precision strikes, but orchestrating an entire digital battlefield in real time. And it's not just smart, it's silent. Defense analysts believe its radar cross-section is smaller than a bird, far beyond anything that flew before. Where the B-2's stealth relied on delicate coatings and complex curves, the B-21 uses next-generation materials that absorb radar across multiple frequencies and do so without constant maintenance. The result? A bomber that's not only invisible but practical. Designed to endure, the B-21 was engineered with one purpose beyond combat, longevity. The Air Force didn't want another fleet of 20-odd aircraft that cost billions to sustain. They needed hundreds. So every decision, from design to manufacturing, was made with efficiency in mind. Each Raider costs about $692 million, still a fortune but only one-third the price of a B-2. That cost reduction came from something new, digital design and open architecture systems. Engineers used advanced software models to test and refine every component virtually before production began. What used to take months of rework could now be solved on a computer in hours. At Plant 42, augmented reality tools guide technicians while robotic precision systems assemble parts with tolerances once impossible by hand. This efficiency doesn't just save money, it saves time. Congress recognized it too, allocating $4.5 billion in April 2025 to accelerate production. With that investment, the Air Force plans to field at least 100 Raiders, with projections as high as 200. For the first time in decades, America will have a bomber fleet big enough to blanket the globe. Wings that never tire. Every inch of the B-21's design whispers efficiency. Its engines, derived from the Pratt & Whitney F-135 used in the F-35, sip fuel while delivering immense thrust. The aircraft's flying wing geometry minimizes drag and maximizes lift giving it a range of over 5,000 miles, enough to strike across oceans without refueling. For comparison, the B-2 already impressed with its 6,000-mile range, but the B-21 achieves similar endurance with less fuel and smaller size. This independence is strategic. Tanker aircraft are vulnerable. Forward bases can be targeted. The B-21 can launch from the continental United States hit targets on the far side of the world, and return home, all while remaining unseen. It is the embodiment of global reach without global exposure. To America's allies, that means reassurance. To its adversaries, it means uncertainty. And uncertainty is power. Built to Evolve Perhaps the most remarkable thing about the Raider is that it was built to change. Where older bombers froze in time, locked to their original technology, the B-21 is fluid. Its open systems architecture allows upgrades as easily as installing a new app. Whether it's a next-generation sensor, advanced jamming pod, or hypersonic weapon, the aircraft can integrate new capabilities without redesign. Behind every Raider is its digital twin, a complete virtual copy stored in the cloud. Engineers can test modifications in that virtual environment, simulate missions, and predict maintenance needs long before a wrench touches the aircraft. If an issue arises, they already know how to fix it. This living model keeps every bomber combat ready and cost efficient. In military terms, that's revolutionary. It means the Raider can remain at the cutting edge for half a century, while other nations spend decades just trying to catch up. The dual soul of the Raider. 
The B-21 doesn't just carry bombs, it carries choices. It's built to serve as both a conventional strike platform and a nuclear deterrent, ensuring it remains central to America's strategic triad of bombers, submarines, and missiles. For its nuclear role, the Raider will deploy the AGM-181 Long-Range Standoff Missile, LRSO, a stealthy, precision-guided cruise missile capable of penetrating the most advanced air defenses. It's still classified, but early tests in 2025 were successful. That means the B-21 can deliver nuclear payloads from safe stand standoff distances, far beyond the reach of hostile interceptors. But nuclear deterrence is only part of its power. The Raider can haul up to 50,000 pounds of conventional ordnance, precision bombs, standoff weapons, bunker busters, whatever the mission demands. Flexibility is its doctrine. Where the B-2 specialized in stealth penetration, the B-21 adds adaptability, capable of commanding drones one moment and striking hardened targets the next. That dual soul, deterrence and action, defines modern American air power. It says, we can reach you, but we don't have to. And that silent assurance keeps wars from starting in the first place. A commander in the sky. To call the B-21 a bomber is to undersell it. It's more accurately a flying command center, a hub that can see, analyze, and direct the chaos of modern warfare. Its sensors collect streams of information, radar, or infrared, electromagnetic signatures, and fuse them into one real-time picture of the battlefield. It shares that view instantly with other aircraft, ships, and ground forces. Imagine a B-21 deep in contested territory feeding live data to F-35s hundreds of miles away, coordinating drone strikes or jamming enemy radars, all from a single stealth platform. It doesn't just fight, it manages the fight. This capability gives the U.S. military something priceless, tempo. The ability to act faster than an enemy can react. In the future, wars won't be decided by who fires first, but by who thinks first. And the B-21 was built to think. Invisible in the most dangerous skies. Modern air defenses are terrifyingly advanced. Layered radar systems, long-range surface-to-air missiles like Russia's S-400 and S-500, and networks that hunt stealth aircraft across multiple spectrums, but the Raider was born for this challenge. Its stealth operates in multiple domains, radar, infrared, electromagnetic, even acoustic. It doesn't just hide, it confuses, deceives, and disappears. Its onboard electronic warfare suite can jam, spoof, or blind enemy sensors, creating windows of invisibility where none should exist. Against the world's most sophisticated defenses, the B-21 doesn't blink, it laughs. For the Indo-Pacific theater, where the U.S. anticipates facing peer adversaries, this capability is critical. The B-21 ensures that if deterrence fails, America can strike without relying on forward bases or risking mass casualties. It's not a tool of aggression. It's insurance against overconfidence. When a nation knows it can't see the blow that might come, it thinks twice before throwing a punch. The power of readiness. Stealth is useless if it's stuck in the hangar. That was a painful lesson from the B-2 era. So the Air Force made maintainability a design priority. The B-21's radar-absorbing materials are tougher, longer-lasting, and easier to repair. Its digital maintenance systems track each component's condition, 
allowing predictive servicing instead of reactive fixes. Maintenance hubs like Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma coordinate with Plant 42 and Ellsworth AFB in South Dakota, where the first operational squadron will be based. More than 8,000 personnel and 400 suppliers across 40 states support the program, ensuring parts and expertise are always within reach. The result? Higher readiness, lower cost, and aircraft that spend more time flying and less time waiting. The Air Force estimates $23 billion over 30 years to build, operate, and sustain a fleet of 100 Raiders, a fraction of past program expenses, considering the technological leap they deliver. For taxpayers and troops alike, that's a win. Time on budget and on track. In an age where defense programs often drown in overruns, the B-21 stands as a rare success story. No spiraling costs, no endless delays. From blueprint to runway, it's met every milestone. On time, on budget, already flying. By 2026, two more aircraft will join the test fleet and full operational deployment is projected before the decade's end. By the 2040s, the B-21 will have replaced the aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit, forming a two-bomber force alongside the modernized B-52 Stratofortress, the old and the new side by side, both symbols of American endurance. Military analysts call the program a model of smart acquisition and for good reason. After decades of bureaucratic turbulence, the B-21 proves that disciplined innovation still thrives when vision meets accountability. From spirit to raider, the continuum of power. The connection between the B-2 and B-21 isn't just technological, it's philosophical. Both aircraft were born from the same conviction, that peace is best protected by capability, and capability comes from courage to innovate. The B-2 spirit gave America its stealth wings. The B-21 Raider ensures those wings never fade. When the spirit entered service, it represented what was possible. When the Raider entered the sky, it represented what was next. Together they tell a uniquely American story of progress through persistence, of deterrence through strength, and of vision through discipline. Epilogue, the ghosts that guard the future. As the B-21 disappears into the clouds, there's a sense of deja vu, a reminder of that first stealth ghost that once flew under the cover of night its existence denied for years. Back then, the world wondered how a bomber could be invisible. Now, it wonders what comes after invisibility. The truth is, the spirit never really left. It lives on in the raider's DNA, in every whisper of radar-absorbing fiber, in every perfectly curved edge, in every shadow cast by freedom's wings. One generation built the legend. The next ensures it endures. In the silence of the stratosphere, where no radar can reach and no sound escapes, America's promise still flies. We will see without being seen. We will reach without being stopped. And when peace demands guardians, we will send our ghosts. Because in the end, that's what the B-2 spirit began, and what the B-21 Raider was born to continue. <laughs>